All right, uh, it is mid-October here, downtown Knoxville, Tennessee. And the motor vehicles are lining up for parking. at the corner of Hall of Fame and Howard Baker. Guys, remember Howard Baker? 50 years ago, he helped uh, Richard Nixon see his way out of office. It is a Bama weekend here in town. Alabama will be playing tomorrow. Which uh, should be a great thing to do after tonight's entertainment. Gary Allen from the 1990s country music scene is at the uh, Civic Auditorium tonight. Gary Allen and I never kind of met up in my tour around the country, so I was kind of delighted when I heard that he was scheduled for Knoxville at the auditorium. Never seen him before. Should be a good show. This show was announced, or at least I heard of it, shortly after the death of uh, Toby Keith, which uh, is ironic because uh, to me, Gary Allen was always very much a sort of Toby Keith sort of figure. Like Toby, he came out of the 90s country music scene. Like Toby, he was his own man. Uh, Gary Allen didn't take crap from no one. Much like Toby Keith. Country music... And all political groups could say what they want, but Toby did what he want. And he was probably the biggest star in country music during the 90s, 2000s. Gary Allen was much the same vein. He started like Toby. Uh, they wanted to make him a pretty boy. The uh, Nashville had an idea of exploiting his youth and his looks. So he was sort of uh, sort of dressed up to be a uh, sort of pretty boy in country music. If you ever notice that any of the early Toby Keith's uh, videos, his hair is perfectly coiffed. <laughs> his perm is just so. Gary Allen started much the same way in country music. And like Toby, 
you know, he, he told Nashville to screw it. He was going his own way. And so he did. He never found the success. And he never had the talent that, say, Toby Keith had. But uh, I've always admired his music and his songs. Um, unlike Toby, who was a bit self-centered <laughs> in his music and in his songwriting and a bit uh, self-mocking, too, I might add. Um, Gary Allen had a darker edge to his music. There was more of a blues to Gary Allen music. More of a more of a, a, a blues, a dark edge to it that uh, did not make him a fan to uh, radio stations. So he could be hard to find, but when I did find him, I was glad I did. And uh, while on the road, traveling around with the characters on the streets, I uh, never had a chance to catch him. But tonight, I will catch him. Um, here in Knoxville at the Civic Auditorium. And I am looking forward to this. It should be a good show. The 19, what is it, 70 Knoxville Coliseum. Um, yeah. <laughs> be grateful. You know, it's like, hey, really is a cute theater, though. 9,000 seats and a lot of charm. Old school charm, they might say tonight. This uh, Friday night in October with the Bama game tomorrow. Natty Daddy heads to the Gary Allen concert. See you inside. Uh, look at this. I couldn't believe it. I was shocked when I, I found the auditorium for tonight's show. This ain't the huge 9,000 seat um, hockey arena that I've seen all the concerts in here at the Civic Auditorium. This is fantastic. I was shocked when I got in here. It turns out the, um, the Knoxville Civic Auditorium actually has two showrooms. There is this, about five or 6,000 seats, and then there is a hockey arena next door, which, uh, you know, suits, uh, seats about 10 or 11. But boy, look at that. This is for my seat. Oh, very good. Very nice. I was so happy when I got in here. Oh, my. Impressed. Hey. <laughs>